What's up guys, Mike here. Hey, let's do a quick video today, uh, an important topic, how to choose a real estate agent. Now this is specifically gonna be geared towards a buyer's agent, okay? Not somebody you would list your house with to sell, but somebody who would represent you in a purchasing decision. So as many of you know, I am trying to buy my first rental property, okay? And I've got nearly the money I need saved and I'm looking around for a real estate agent, somebody who will have my best interest uh, at heart and will do their best to help me find something that will hopefully lead to me being a more successful person, right? So finding that real estate agent. Now apparently, according to studies, about 75% of home buyers go with the very first real estate agent that they meet. Now you and I know there's no way that the first person you meet and the first person you interact with is the best qualified person for the job. I mean, I'm sure some people get lucky and happen to find that best person on the first shot. I mean, I, I'm sure statistically it does happen 3% of the time would be my guess. But for the most part, we do need to be uh, discriminatory, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but I also do. We need to make sure that we're picking someone who is the best. This is the biggest financial decision that you most people will make in their entire lives. You want someone who's experienced and has your best interest at heart. So let's go over real quick how to choose a real estate agent. Now, I, I did some research. I looked some things up. I read some articles. I watched some videos, and these were the most important things that I felt were uh, beneficial for the sake of this video. Number one, basic research, okay? You're gonna wanna Google them, okay? Uh, check their website. Do they have testimonials? Do they have um, someone that you can give a phone call to? You know, some of their clients. Hey, who have you represented recently that I can call and ask why they did a good job for you? Uh, as someone who worked in construction before, I had a laundry list of people I could say, call this guy, this guy, this guy, call the last 10 people I did business with, they'll tell you why I'm great. I wanna know that the person that's gonna help me find a home is the right person. Uh, so testimonials on their website. Does it look professional? Do they have a website? Yeah. Um, and, and then, you know, look them up on Facebook. You, it, look into them a little more personally. Does this person seem to be a normal person who is an honest person who seems to be, you know, forthcoming? If you look on their Facebook page and it's just them getting plastered on the weekends, you know, is that somebody you want to do business with? You know, if they're just a party animal or if they seem like they're dishonest or they don't have a social media presence, well, that's a question too. And I'm not saying that that is something that would completely disclude someone, but it is something you may want to consider and take into account when looking for this individual to represent you. All right, so basic research. Uh, number two, interview. You got to interview the person, okay? And the best way to have a successful interview is to have good questions uh, already thought out ahead of time with the answers that you want to hear kind of picked out. So the, the best questions that I came up with off of reading through some articles and watching some videos, um, why did you get into real estate? What's their drive? Is it their passion? Is it something they want to do? Or are they just looking for an easy commission doing minimal work? Uh, how many clients are you currently working with? Are you going to have time to represent me and my interests or my family's interests? Or are you going to be spread too thin between too many clients? Um, piggybacking on that question, am I working with you and this relationship I'm developing with you, Mr. or Mrs. Real Estate Agent? Am I working with you or your team or someone who's inexperienced and I'll never see you again beyond this initial meeting where you sell me on your team? Um, how do you structure your fees? How do you get paid? Is it negotiable? Uh, where am I going to be charged and for what? These are important things that vary from real estate agent to agent. I could probably do a whole video just on negotiating fees and structuring fees and what to expect to pay in terms of closing costs and all these different things and listing fees, you know, that type of stuff. Um, why are you the agent that I should work with? If they can't sell themselves to you, you probably don't want them. How are they going to sell your house? They know more about themselves than they do about anything else in the world. If they can't sit here and give you multiple reasons why they are the person you should do business with, you probably don't want to do business with them. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the charisma. They don't care. They don't, whatever it is. Um, they should be able to sell you on why they're better than the com competitor. You know, whether or not they trash talk a competitor, some people like to hear someone who dominates the competition. Some people like to hear someone who's a little more even-handed and kind, but they should be able to at least give you a long list of reasons why they are fantastic. 
Um, and how will we communicate? Now, this is big, right? If Let's say you're a younger individual and you're going to be working with an older agent, right? Maybe they don't use email. Maybe they don't use text. And everything's got to be in person. And that's not what you want. Or vice versa. Maybe they only want to use email and they only want to use text and they never want to meet in person and you would rather have some of those face-to-face -face meetings than that FaceTime, you know? How are we going to communicate? And of course, the last part of that is hopefully they do communicate and that they respond promptly to your questions. Um, can I expect to get answers from you uh, during business days with at least one business day, uh, only one business day going by before I would hear back from you? You know, I mean, you want to know when I have a question for you, when I see a house I like, it just pops up, and I want to get out to it. It, it, it. And I send you a message. Are we going to make that happen in a couple of days, or are you going to get back to me in two weeks when it's already been sold? Uh, that's important. Uh, last thing, there, excuse me, the interview questions. Uh, prof professional history. What's their resume like? And I mean in terms of their uh, experience. You know, How much experience do they have? How many years have they been a real estate agent? Now, this is not a key deciding factor. Just because you have 20 years does not mean you're better than somebody with five years. But I would say that somebody with five years is probably always going to be better than somebody with six months. Now that's not to say that you can't work with someone who only has a few months on. Everyone has to start somewhere. But for the largest financial decision of your life, you might want to be able to make the decision of, do I want to take a chance on this new individual who has never sold a house or has only sold one house versus someone who has a proven record? That's a decision you'll make. Um, tell me about your experience. How many houses have you sold each year for the last five years? Get a good read on what their experience is, sold and bought, of course. How many houses have you purchased each year in the last five years? Um, how many houses have you purchased in the area that I am looking to buy in and in my price range? You, know, you want to make sure that they're actually working, uh, that that experience would lead towards your success. If you're looking for $2 million homes and you're working with a real estate agent who's never helped someone purchase a house over 500000 that may not be the guy for you. Likewise, if you're working with a high-end real estate agent who's used to showing people three to $5 million homes and you're looking for something that's a tenth of the cost, uh, or excuse me, 10% of the cost, that's right, that's a tenth. 10% 10 of the cost, you know, maybe 300000 instead of $3 million. I think we're right there. Don't question me on the math. Uh, you know, you want someone who's used to doing what you want to do. Your area, your price range. Lastly, personal connection. If you don't get along with a person, if you they rub you the wrong way, they could be great in every other way, but if you don't genuinely trust uh, and enjoy conversing with that individual and have a, a natural rapport um, and a relationship, now I'm not saying you guys have to go out and have dinner and play golf together, but you want to at least work with somebody that you like, somebody that you can relate to, somebody whom you respect, uh, any number of different things. So yes, personal connection is very important. You don't want to feel like you're getting ripped off. You want to feel like someone cares about you. And they should. It's a large purchase and it's going to be one of the biggest ones you make, I make, ever. I hope that the individual I work with cares about me, cares about my family, cares about my goals, cares about my dreams. Uh, anyways, in terms of how to choose a real estate agent, these were the most important things that I found um, and that I'm trying to incorporate when I am now interviewing real estate agents, which that in and of itself can be a bit difficult because honestly... The market's so stinking hot right now. They don't call you back. They don't answer their phone. They ask you to leave a message. They don't care. They're like, yeah, I'm going to get your contact information, and then you never hear from them again. So, um, But if you do get your foot in the door, sit down, and you be discriminatory back because it will help you in the long run. Do not settle. You, and you are more valuable, and your purchase is more valuable and impactful to your life. Be judgmental over who you select. Anyways, thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.